electroless plating and in particularly electroless plating of uh, nickel. What is this electroless plating? What is electroless plating? Electroless plating is nothing but without the use of uh, electric current. It's possible to uh, cover a um, base metal with a thin film of metal or alloy using suitable reducing agent. Like electroless plating is the controlled deposition of continuous film of a metal or alloy from a salt solution on to a catalytically active surface by using suitable reducing agent without using electric current. Here we have not use any electric current. Instead of using electric current, the electron needed for the reduction reaction is supplied with the help of a reducing agent. The reducing agent can able to give electrons. So, uh, when we add a reducing agent to a metal ion, uh, on, the ato on the catalytic surface, the reduction takes place. The metal ion gets reduced to metal at the same time an oxidizing, oxidized product is formed. That means metal ion takes uh, in the presence of or interact with the reducing agent so that reducing agent gives electron and that electron is taken by metal ion on the catalytically active surface the deposition of this metal takes place that means the driving force in electroless plating is an autocatalytic redox reaction over a pretreated catalytic surface instead of electric current as in case of electroplating in the case of electroless plating, we observe anode and cathode on the same metal. We are not using any anode or cathode components. On the same metal itself act as an anode and cathode. Anode reaction that takes place, the liberation of electron by the help of a reducing agent and the cathode reaction is metal ion takes electrons which is liberated at anode and get deposited as a metal. The main in the all electroless plating, the main composition is uh, uh, in the plating bath uh, observed is a metal salt. That metal salt provides a metal ion for the deposition. Then we have to take a reducing agent for reduction of metal ion to metal atom. Then complexing agent to complex metal ion to prevent bulk deposition. To stabilize the solution, we may introduce a stabilizer. To increase the rate of plating, we may introduce accelerator and we have to introduce a buffer solution to control the pH. So here in almost all the electroless plating, there may be a liberation of hydrogen or, or the reduction of hydrogen is observed. As a result, the pH of the solution during plating uh, decreases. To maintain a pH, buffer solution, addition of buffer solution is very important or is essential. Uh, in case of electroless plating of nickel, so before carrying the electroless plating of nickel, uh, it should be pre-treated. The activation of the surface is needed. The first the surface is degreased uh, by treatment with organic solvents or alkali followed by acid treatment to remove uh, almost all organic matter as well as uh, the rust or the deposition, extraneous matter that present over the surface of the metal. The metal like aluminium, iron, copper and brass can, can be directly plated without activation in presence of radiation. But if you use a stainless steel, it should be activated by dipping in a hot solution containing 1 is to 1 sulfuric acid. Magnesium alloy are given a thin layer of zinc and copper. And in non-metallic materials such as a plastic, glass, quartz are used, if you will, it is first uh, dipped with the stannous chloride, palladium chloride, so the stannous chloride HCl solution at the 25 degrees Celsius followed by dipping in palladium chloride. Then the surface is dried to get a layer of palladium. That is the surface should be activated by dipping it with the palladium chloride HCl solution. Now, I shall take what is the bath composition for electroless plating of nickel. For electroless plating of nickel, we have to take, uh, we have to take a nickel chloride salts. In all electroplating bath, the solution or the electrolyte contains a metal ion or the deposit. Here, nickel chloride is taken. The nickel chloride around uh, 20 
is taken is around 20 gram per liter nickel chloride is taken along with this we'll use a reducing agent called it as a sodium hypophosphite the sodium hypophosphite reducing agent used is around 20 gram per liter and then sodium succinate act as a complexing agent as well as it act as an accelerator around 50 gram per liter is taken then buffer solution added is a sodium acetate that is 10 gram per liter sodium acetate is taken okay the buffer is sodium acetate complexing agent sodium succinate then uh, sodium hypophosphite act as a reducing agent plating but solution is a nickel chloride when we use the sodium acetate as a buffer solution the pH maintained for this is around 4.5 pH is maintained it's possible to maintain 4.5 pH then temperature maintained for a bath uh, for this uh, uh, electrolyte plating bath is 93 degree Celsius so uh, then what type of uh, the type of reaction that occurs in the electrolyte plating of uh, uh, nickel is here active anode the possible reaction is the hypophosphite because the reducing agent uh, undergo oxidation help uh, reducing agent liberates electrons there is an anodic reaction or oxidation reaction take place here we use the sodium hypophosphate that is for hypophosphite h2po2 minus hypophosphite in the presence of water okay it gives electrons by changing into hypophosphate h2po3 minus plus 2h plus ion is liberated along with the formation of two moles of electrons this is a possible anode reaction H2PO2 minus plus H2O giving H2PO3 minus plus phosphate plus 2H plus along with the liberation of two moles of electron. And these liberated electrons are taken by the nickel ion that is introduced in the form of nickel chloride takes nickel ion and get deposited as a metallic nickel that is a cathode reaction now i come into a overall reaction that is hypophosphite that is h2po2 minus plus water okay the nickel takes electron and get deposited as a nickel metal on the surface of the cathode at the same time phosphite changes to phosphate po3 minus plus 2h plus here the continuous formation of h plus ion is observed so during the progress of the reaction as a result the pH of the solution decreases maintaining the pH at about 4.5 is required that is done by the addition of a buffer sodium acetate here the nickel deposit usually contains 3 to 15 percent of 3 to 15 percent percent of phosphorus we observe a phosphorus 3 to uh, 15 percent is observed during the reaction that means it is included some components the oxidizing agents so during the reaction h plus ion liberates which changes the ph of the solution that's why the maintaining ph throughout the reaction is very important addition of buffer is very important then why we maintain a uh, temperature of about uh, 93 degrees celsius so because if you introduce a temperature less, the nickel coating is not possible. That means the plating does not start till a temperature of 70 degree is reached. And then when a, a more than 70 degree is observed, then uh, increase with the increase in the temperature and maximum deposition is observed at a temperature of 93 degree Celsius. Again, if you increase the temperature beyond the 93 degree leads to the decomposition of the plating bar. That means the maximum 93 degree Celsius is maintained so that the smooth deposition is possible. Now, the electro use of electroless plating. So, it is used to improve the wear resistance surface. So, uh, usually industrial component because of their hardness and abrasion such as pump, valves, pistons, they are, uh, they are coated with the nickel. And even 
because of their protective values in screw uh, filters heat exchanger the nickel coating is observed iron is coated with the nickel and even to improve the magnetic properties also sometimes we introduce a nickel to improve the solderability in case of in the part in particularly aluminium so nickel coating on aluminium is uh, made a nickel coating on polymer is used to obtain decorative on knobs tops on bottle etc heat treated electroless nickel plated is a preferred application in hydraulic compression pressure vessels pumps etc because of their hardness and abrasion resistance even electroless uh, nickel plating find application in domestic as well as automotive fields like consumer jewelry car frames top of the perfume bottles etc and in particularly acrylonitrile butadiene styrene plastic coated with nickel have a functional as well as a decorative application plastic cabinets coated with copper and nickel by electroless plating are used in digital and electronic instruments like printers and controllers this is a few applications we observed in the case of nickel coating